I don't wanna overthink, so watch your chill, watch a movie and drink. Look around, I don't see people who think anymore. More to Welcome back to Tell Me More About It. It's your host, Larry and Merman. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and today, guys, we bring you another episode of Tell Me More About It. In today's episode, we got some new segments. And the main topic, if you don't have time, go ahead and zoom to the main topic. It is how to have inner peace. Am I right? Inner peace. Inner peace. Yo. For those that have seen Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu right. What did he say? I don't remember what he said. I forgot what he was, but I know it was, I think, Shifu. And he was always like, inner peace. With his, uh, what was that food he used to snack on? Who? The Kung Fu Panda. What was that food he would bait him with? Anyway. You know what it was? Oh, man. Was it dumplings? It was dumplings. I think it was dumplings. It was dumplings. Yep. But guys, it's about having your inner peace today. And uh, if it's your first time watching this video, thank you for tuning into our episode. And uh, if you've been here before, welcome back, family. We just want to welcome you back to our community. What this podcast is about, real quick, is about two guys who give their uh, perspective on a variety of topics. We keep the podcast short, and uh, we like to talk about anything from NBA to today in our piece to what to do when you feel lost to anything, guys. We talk about we talk about a lot of things, yep. and um, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. But before we do, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, just cause you rocking with us. Our first segment is what today, Vernon? Our first segment is... You got jokes? Do you got jokes? Do we? Well, I got one for you guys. I know some of you in the comments are going to say you didn't laugh, but I know you are. I know Larry's going to laugh. We're going to see if I'm going to laugh, guys. You might so, get the crickets today. So if y'all know what that is, check out the old podcast. <laughs> I'll go first. So mine is... What did the fish say when he swam into a wall? Ow, my... Ow? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Like, you know what? That's, oh, that's clever. That's clever. Oh, man. That's kind of funny. It's funny. You just got to get it. D-A-M. Damn. That's clever, though. All right. Well, that was my joke. I don't have a joke for you guys today. <laughs> um, I, I can I can I can make one up real quick. So then I definitely won for the day. Yeah, you I definitely won. I don't have one. I can look one up real quick. No, <laughs> man, put it in. No, it don't count. All right. No, I won. Yeah, you won for today. All right. The next segment is fight or flight, and I have a good one today for you again, Larry. Now you are you can't prepare. Look. Gotta stay prepared. All right, go ahead. All right. And I had to draw this out a little bit, so keep that in mind, guys. There is a grizzly bear that appears out of nowhere. Mm hmm. And you're with the puppy that you just purchased. You wanted to go on a vacation with this puppy. Mm hmm. And out of nowhere, the grizzly bear confronts you, so you're stuck, you're trapped. You have to make a decision. Do you, A, drop the puppy so the grizzly bear is distracted and you run? Okay. Or are you fighting the grizzly bear? Oh, my God. I'm dropping the puppy and running. <laughs> you know I don't even like puppies like that, for real. You, you just drop the puppy yeah, and run? I'm dropping the puppy and running. That's like your son or daughter. Wow. You just got to drop yeah, No, I can get another one. I can't get another life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get another life. Oh man, I don't know what I do. I I try to run with the puppy. I think that's what I do. I try to run with the puppy. Now if he's a grown dog, uh, I'm gonna just say drop him, drop him, and say let's get up out of here. But he's a puppy, you know, think for himself. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to leave him and just go get, go back and buy another one. <laughs> no, I can't do that. That'll be my my child at that point. All right, let me see if I can think of one. Um, Dang, I should have came prepared today, guys. This is a late night podcast, guys. It is like 9 o'clock here. It's 9 o'clock. It's 9.30. We are suffering for the benefit of you guys. You're suffering. I came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, sheesh. Um, 
All right. So I just saw this one because I, I, I'm on Google right now, guys, and I see coronavirus. So I'm just gonna roll with my thoughts. So fight or flight, or I guess stay or stay and protect, stay and help or leave. If, no, I ain't even gonna ask you the question because this this is on me. <laughs> no, because I ain't gonna ask you the question. Why? The question why? Because the question is, say if one of your family members got coronavirus, and you had to stay and help them. Or you're going to just be like, quarantine them, and you, they can't help. So, stay and help them with the coronavirus. Or, go ahead and flight. <laughs> I don't think that's that hard. I just wear protection, and I'd be very, very careful. Yeah, I know that was a bad one, wasn't it? It wasn't, wasn't too bad. I mean, for some people, I feel like they'd definitely run. And they'd be like, alright, I'll see you when you're back. Yeah, I know, I know. especially the parents. The parents will... Uh, if the kid get the kid gets it, the parents are like, stay away from me. I wonder how many people like they their feelings actually got hurt because they realize like their parents looked at them and said, if you have coronavirus, you're out, <laughs> like you're gone because I'm not getting that. I'm about to shock you. Speaking of coronavirus, guess who has coronavirus? Who? Chris Paul. I heard about. I saw something about that. I thought like maybe he got injured while he was like off the court, but he has corona. Yep. First time in the conference semifinal, conference finals, yeah. and he came and played the first game. Well, unless, unless he can, I don't know. Is he? You think he'll be back for? I hope so, but I don't think he will because this this don't take him a week or two, maybe. That's, that's tough. And that's, that's gonna be hard for them now. Yeah. By the guy, or by the time you guys see this podcast, we'll have had a podcast, or the latest podcast will be about a little bit about Chris Paul and. That good stuff. So go check that one out if you guys haven't. But that's that's disappointing, man. Yeah. That's disappointing. But I hope we made you guys laugh. Tell us in the comments if you thought either of those were funny. I know the the fish going into the damn one was funny. You can't tell me that one wasn't funny. If you give me a second, I can look up a joke real quick. It's too late. The time has passed. <laughs> I've won. Let them know in the comments. Wait, I got one. Let's go to the main topic. <laughs> you lost. All right, I got one. What has more lives? What has more lives than a cat? What? A frog because it croaks every night. That was, that was terrible. I won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to the main topic, guys. Hopefully, we made you laugh. If we did, please like and subscribe to this channel. But I don't think y'all are going to like and subscribe to our channel. But we 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 we, we hoping you guys do. <laughs> so the, the main topic of today, guys, again, is inner peace. How can we have it? What do you do? Whatever. How how can you have inner peace? Yeah. I'm gonna let Vernon go first. Yeah. So inner peace, I think that's one of the toughest things for me, especially right now. And even when I was younger and playing basketball, having inner peace is. It's so difficult, especially when you have a decent amount of things going on in your life that can just be, it can easily get so overwhelming. And I'm going to share some different things that some people may be overwhelmed with. And then I'm going to share how you can somewhat deal with it and how I'm dealing with it every single day. Because again, Larry and I are both entrepreneurs. So I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't feel stress day to day because there's just some things that are out of your control but you consistently try to do everything that you can control which isn't as much as what people think but yeah some things that people they get stressed about and they really need inner peace for are money i feel like so many people get caught up in money and i don't have enough for this or i don't have enough for that <clears throat> but you got to find a way to have peace and all that and for, for me personally, I am a Christian, so I find some peace in God. When there's nowhere else left to turn, that's where I go for peace, to try to find peace. Because, regard, and I talked about this in an older podcast, but regardless of where you are, how good things are, at some point in your life, it'll probably happen more than once, you'll need inner peace because that's the only place that you can go and if you're just relying on yourself and you're not 
you, you don't have an avenue that you can relieve stress and get back to that peace, it's a problem. Because then you start turning to what? Alcohol. Some people turn to drugs. I know people that that's the route that they went and they suffered for it. They lost a lot of time and it just put people through a lot. So if we can help just one of you by giving you some ways that you can go about getting peace before you get to a point to where you have to turn to something else to get peace that's not beneficial to you, that's what we're going to do. So I think the other biggest thing that uh, people struggle with is like like the future. Like The future stresses people out so much, and it stresses me out as well. But I know in COVID, I don't, don't quote me on this because I haven't looked at this stat, but I think that period of time, like there was an increase in depression and whatnot, wasn't there? From men, I think so. Yeah, so it's a, it's a big thing that I think a lot of the time we don't think about. Like in our society, I feel like people are always talking about, hey, you need to get money, you need to have a career, you need to do this and you need to do that. But no one really talks about just, hey, it's okay just to chill sometimes and just not do anything. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's something that we all need to start doing more. So an instance in my life right now, I am a digital marketer, for those of you that don't know. And I create ads for people to see so that they go to the people that I'm working with business. And what I've learned is you can do everything right. I mean, I... I dive into this. I'm a professional at it. I took the time to learn it, and I'm very good at it. And I do everything I can to get the people I'm working with new customers. But at the end of the day, you're dealing with people. So the people have to actually call them. I can't force them to call. It's just something that I have no control over. And that can cause a lot of stress, at least for me. Personally, and I have to learn how to deal with it. And it's something that I'm still learning how to deal with. But so far, what I started doing is just sometimes I'll just sit in a chair and just lay it all the way back like a gamer chair. I'll just lay it all the way back and just close my eyes and chill. And that is a form of meditation for me. So that's another thing that I wanted to get into real quick. If you. But before, before you get into that, can I say, my, can I say something real quick? Yeah. I definitely want to go deeper into what, well, not even that deep, but um, what you were saying. It's funny how you mentioned it because I had just talked to my counselor today. Um, I go to counseling guys every like month or whatever, talk to a counselor about things that are going on, but about uh, the unknown and your future. And um, I think trying to have, and uh, you guys may have that feeling like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but you guys may have that feeling like you, there's something missing in your life or like that like that hole in your stomach. And um, you just have to figure out what it is, think about it, think about what it is, and just, I don't know, find ways to fill that hole. For me, for me it was God. For me, I just um, got closer to God. But whatever that is... Me, whether it be meditation, whether it be God, whether it be working out, whether it be sleep, whatever that thing to help you fill that hole, um, do that. And back back on uh, worried about the future, I wouldn't worry too much about the future because if you think if you if you go back to our last podcast, um, we talk about just starting and to start because eventually my my counselor said. Um, if you walk in a direction, you're eventually going to get there. So, really just true. just start it. <clears throat> Go ahead. Yeah, but that that that's a huge part in the future. The future, guys. I mean, it it can be so stressful. And I know we're saying this, and you're be like, and you're like, yeah, that's easier said than done. But <clears throat> again, we're we're living it. So when I say like. Yeah, I understand you can get consumed with things and it can be really stressful, but you have to find peace or you're going to get burnt out and slowly you're going to start turning into a person that you don't want to be 
because you're just, you, there's just too much going on. So that's why I said meditation has helped me a lot. Another thing that has helped me a lot is just, again, praying and just saying, hey, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure things go right. But however things turn out, I'm okay with it because I, I've done everything that I can. And not, not saying that when you know you haven't, but I'm saying really focusing in, giving it your all. If it doesn't work out the way that you want, you can find peace in that. And if you don't find peace at the end of that, then that means you weren't really giving it your all. Because when you know you've done everything that is humanly possible, there's peace in it. I mean, Kobe Bryant even said that. He said when he retired, he knows he gave everything. And that's why he, I mean, he looked happy in retirement. It didn't look like he was stressed or anything. He was like, no, I did what I did, and I'm fine with it. So take it from Kobe, the Black Mamba. The Black Mamba. Drop 60 his last game. Yeah. Um, I just want to bring up a quote real quick. Um, this does, this might, you guys might think it compliments Vernon. It might not, but I just want to bring up this quote because I keep seeing it on my on my. Mm. I keep seeing it on my TikTok and my Instagram. It's a it's a Nipsey hustle. And he was saying, "Would you rather be at peace with yourself and at war with the world, or be at peace with the world and at war with yourself?" And I think that just goes back into inner peace. Like, shoot, you have to choose your battle. Do you want to be content with who I am and just say this is who I'm going to be and screw everybody else, or am I going to be? Try to please everyone, and then I'm having constant battles when I'm at home and looking at, and having a hard time looking myself in the mirror. So, yeah, and <clears throat> I feel like inner peace it kind of links with mental health as well. Now that's something that we can get into here soon. We could do the next podcast if you want. But yeah, I feel like I feel like it's not just inner peace. You have to have it mentally as well because if those don't line up then there's no way that you're going to be able to have peace. There's a lot of things that go into life. And I know people sometimes they try to, or they say, like, life is simple. We just make it complicated. And there's truth to that. But at the same time, life is what it is. And it does feel complicated for a lot of people. And we have to learn to find peace and happiness in all the chaos because the world... The world is what it is. And like and this goes back to what you just said. You can either have peace or try to make peace with the world. And you're not gonna be able to make peace with the world. You can't you know, everybody ain't gonna like you. Yeah. Bro. I'm just sorry to say that. It it just is what it is. So you have to find peace in yourself. And if you're good with yourself, then you'll make it through anything. I mean, if you believe in yourself and you're good with who you are. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Mm -hmm. You are there. You got it. Because most people don't have that. And as an entrepreneur, what I'm finding out is, and I'm still working on this, you have to be that way. Because there's so many people around you that are, are negative or just competitors just doing shady stuff. I, I've, I've experienced a lot so far. And the one thing that I can hold on to is, hey, I... I'm good at this. I know what I'm doing. I believe in myself. And if you have that, the sky is the limit. So you have any... That's all I, I got. Yeah, I, I got something. I like how you said life is simple, but we make it complicated. And you were, and like what I got out of that was you were saying you have to learn how to balance. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Learn how to balance. And um, just give an example of myself. I've had to come to inner peace that... Because you guys, if you guys remember, I'm an artist rapper, singer, however you want to project me. And that is a highly competitive field. Vernon's field is a highly competitive field. And though I would like to make music every single day of the life, that, you no, know, even though I'm, though I would like, not like to, though I would, uh, people, people say you need to make music every single day of your life, that is just not realistic. Um, so I've had to come with inner peace that I may not ever be the best what I'm doing, that that's the that's the goal. But I may not be the best. Um, I'm okay because I, because 
sometimes I need to just take a break and enjoy other things in life instead of always pushing, 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 pushing myself. And like that goes back to our other podcast. That's how you get burnt out fast too. So, so. Yeah. There's, there's a balance, guys. There's a balance to this. And we hope you guys find find your balance. And just beat that inner voice that says, you're supposed to be working right now. Like, no. like Man, that's a whole nice that's- topic. <laughs> because especially for those people that you played sports your whole life and it's just constantly everyone's telling you, well, they're not working you right now because you're not practicing. Mm-hmm. But even now, constantly that I goes that through. Too, yeah. But it's like at the end of the day, if you have peace with yourself, you don't care what other people are doing. You're focused on you. Floyd Mayweather said this, and I know some people like him, some people don't, but he said, I focus on me, and I focus on improving myself. And that really hit home because I'm like, with everything that he deals with, negative, all the bad publicity and, and everything, he has to have peace. He has to, or he would be wilding doing drugs or just blowing everything he has and he would have nothing by this point. So he's found a way and maybe that was boxing for him. That was where he found peace and no one could tell him anything. So whatever that is for you, I think my closing statement would just be find what it is that you can do to find peace with yourself. Figure out who you are before anything, before you try to go out and help before you start a business, before you do anything, you need to just sit there by yourself and figure out who you are. What do you want? How do you deal with certain situations? What do you need to have so that you always have that peace? Because I'm telling you, in life, whatever you try to do, if you don't have that, you're, it's going to be a struggle. Know so, yourself. Yeah. Know yourself. Like Drake says in that song, know yourself. Know yourself. Yeah, Wa- wallet, wallet, <laughs> no sleeping in the streets. Shanky <laughs> warrior. <laughs> but that's a lot. Hey, guys, uh, I agree with Vernon. Like, I have no other comments to say. Yeah, that's all I got. I-, I hope you guys take this and really apply it and let us know if this is the type of content that you want more of. Like, if you like a topic, we can go into it more. We just want to, we don't want to give you too much at one time. We want to give you a little bit here and a little bit there so that you can maybe try to actually apply it right. into your life. We want to let you guys taste the dish. And if you didn't, if you like the dish, you can have the whole course. Yeah. Because again, we're giving away free information. We're not going to hide stuff from you. A lot of people, even just what we just, t- they're not going to tell it. They're not going to tell you this stuff. Right. Because it's not, it's not something that everyone wants to talk about. People just want to appear positive all the time. But in mm-hmm. reality... Life isn't always positive. Sometimes negative things happen. So, or they, or they just like, or you're just in a competitive field and people don't want to give the secrets. True, that's very true. So, either one, guys. But we're here to give you guys free game or give you guys information. We keep it a hundred with you. We keep it true, honest, real, and um, we keep it from the heart. Yep. I'm Larry. And I'm burning. I had, to, <laughs> I had to go out the same way I came in. And, and this is Tell Me More About It. For uh, all my people on YouTube, thanks for watching. If you're on a streaming service like Spotify or Apple or or whatever the other ones are, I can't pronounce them, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like if you're on YouTube and subscribe, please. Hit that bell because we got plenty of content. Tum- pl- ah. <laughs> plenty of content coming this way. Um. We just want to keep going, man. We just want to keep going and going. I can't wait to get to episode 50 or something. I don't know. Yeah, that'll be fun. So, see you next time. Everyone wants to make a name. Can't help but think as kids. We just wanted each other. Friends turn to enemies. Enemies to rivals. Rivals to rifles. These people trifle with the wrong things. Now they lost. Santa's turning to Jack.